what propeller. I'm going to chat this time about selecting the correct propeller for a boat. Now, this is not an exhaustive chat, as there are so many variables involved here. When it comes to selecting the right propeller, we need to perform proper tests. With experience, we can get away with guessing the right propeller for smaller rigs. These are generally a known size related to the boat weight and purpose. If we see a boat which is overloaded or pulling a skier, we can generally drop down a size and pitch. Or if the boat is exceptionally light loaded, we can go up a size and pitch. Otherwise, we need to identify the make, model, year and horsepower of the engine to find out the manufacturer's recommended wide open throttle or maximum achievable RPM. You can also consult the owner's manual if it's available. Using the existing propeller and a tachometer, make a test run to determine the current maximum achievable RPM. The boat should be loaded as it would be under normal operating conditions, a full tank of fuel, fishing gear, ice, beer, and the average amount of passengers you would take out is recommended. The trim angle should be set correctly and should also be at normal operating conditions. Now here and you say, I don't run my motor at wide open throttle, but this is the only way we can establish the correct propeller for that motor. With a car, we can hear it groan when we have too high gear selected. You can hear it over rev when we use too low a gear. An output motor is governed by the propeller and we need a tachometer to determine what the maximum achievable revolutions per minute are. The manufacturer will give you a recommended rev range, which for example may be between 5,000 to 5,500 RPM. Ideally, we need to be at the top of the rev range. My preference is to prop it as close to the top of the rev range as I can, in this case 5,500 RPM. The reason is if we prop it to only get 5,000 RPM, the engine will labour and drop below these revs and go through excessive fuel when in heavier conditions. Once a motor is set to achieve the correct RPM, then the motor has the correct load on it throughout the whole rev range. With the correct propeller, you can bring the throttle back so you're just on the plane to achieve the best fuel economy and the motor will be a lot happier for it. Once we know what the maximum achievable RP is, then we can provide the customer with the right information about the propeller options to suit their rig. Years ago, I had a large boat pulled out of the water onto the slipway. And the owner of the boat phoned me up and told me he wanted me to come over and take his 24 inch diameter propellers off and put more pitch on so he could go faster. I said, what is your maximum achievable RPM? He said, I don't run it at maximum throttle. I said, I can't help you. I found out later it was a newer boat and he added a lot of extra weight from the initial setup. He really needed pitch taken off so the engine spun freer to achieve maximum RPM and a better speed. You can't put a bigger propeller on and expect to go faster. This only applies when you have excess revs up your sleeve to spare. If a boat has been performing well for years and overnight it loses power, then it's more likely an engine problem. People always blame the propeller first. You really have to be a super sleuth when it comes to propellers. Matching the correct propeller to a boat takes a bit of investigation, knowledge and trials.